Looking to take a leap of faith? How about conquering your fear of heights? Reporter Molly Perlman takes us inside El Segundo's latest action sport. Want an adrenaline rush? Well, look no further. You can learn how to hang glide right here at Doc Weiler State Beach. Let's go check it out. Strap yourself into a hang glider, take a few running steps, and before you know it, you're flying. For this student who says he's always wanted to fly, it was really that easy. It's so effortless. It's, it, there's no struggle to it at all. It's just kind of, it's like flying a kite, but you're on the kite. It's pretty cool. Wind Sports Soaring Center teaches over 500 students a year how to soar off of a 25-foot training slope. Students say they love this location for hang gliding. It's awesome. I, uh, I couldn't have thought of a better place to, uh, to do it here. It's, it's beautiful. And uh, on top of that, uh, I moved down here from Canada, so for me, it's, it's a treat to be <laughs> able to be out here at all. <laughs> These adventure seekers say the experience and instruction exceeded their expectations. It was much easier than I expected because um, our instructor was running alongside us and basically coaching us through. And essentially, all you're supposed to do is just hang there and relax and then look at your target. Oh, he was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know how it was going to be done exactly, but he's always right there at your side. Um, felt totally safe. This is a very unique experience, and I don't know where else in L.A. you can do something like this. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend it. Doc Weiler is one of the more modern facilities for hang gliding, meaning other training facilities use existing terrain, which can create bumpier and more turbulent conditions. In this case, the county brought in engineers and architects and designed the slopes to be the perfect angles, the perfect directions to maximize safety and maximize productivity of learning. The beach also provides a safer place to learn between the coastal winds, soft sand, and the gentle slope. Joe, who has been hang gliding for 30 plus years, says there are many different reasons why he is so passionate about this sport. I can do it for thrill, I can do it for peace, I can do it for beauty, I can go to Yosemite Valley and soar above waterfalls, I can go to Big Sur, fly out over the ocean at sunset, or I can get competitive and get in contests, or I can go up on my Walkman and listen to music while I just fly around the sky. So there's all kinds of things to do with it. It's my therapy, it's my escape from paying the bills and mowing the lawn. Joe is actually a bit of a local celebrity, having hang glided in movies and TV shows such as the opening scene in Jurassic Park 3, um, uh, epi many episodes of Dukes of Hazzard, MacGyver, uh, uh, Baywatch, Baywatch Nights, Alias. His stunt work developed into the creation of another business called Stunt Wings Adventure Sports. If asked about it, Joe does not consider his stunt work to be a big deal. It's just hang gliding. It's fun working with actors, though, because putting them in the hang glider and making it look like they're flying. Anyone 13 years of age or older can sign up for lessons. And if you make it past this training hill, you can move on to their 3,500-foot jump in Silmar. For right now, 25 feet is high enough for me. For El Segundo TV, I'm Molly Perlman.